Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, we must appreciate our Constitution 2010, Honorable Speaker, and the independent offices that uh, are provided therein. Honorable Speaker, the, the unit of the police, the National Police Service, is an independent institution. They do not take instructions from Parliament, don't take instructions from His Excellency the President, and they work independently to exercise their duty, Honorable Speaker. Can you repeat that? I was consulting with a member. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, what I'm saying is we need to appreciate our democracies. The legislature is an independent institution. The National Police Service is an independent unit that does not take instructions from anybody. While we appreciate the right for every Kenyan to picket under Article 37 as provided by the law, Honorable Speaker, the police are there to provide security for even those who are picketing, Honorable Speaker. As we were moving around, Honorable Speaker, coming towards this house, Honorable Speaker, this morning, we have not seen, uh, you know, any barricaded roads across. What we see is po our police officers basking in the sun and relaxing and waiting for those who want to picket to, to, to also provide them with security. Who, they actually deserve security, Honorable Speaker. We have not seen anybody picketing. We've only seen police officers covering our areas and providing security for these honorable members and everybody around the streets of Nairobi, Honorable Speaker. And they've even said, the minority leader, Honorable Speaker, has, just, has even said right now that even those who are purportedly arrested were released on free, you know, without being charged. That ideally shows, that, that ideally shows, because that is an independent institution, that shows, Honorable Speaker, that the police are simply doing their job. And we really can't stop discharging our duties, Honorable Speaker, here to start bashing on the police who are actually doing their job. But again, Gen Z are free to picket. They are free to move around. They are allowed to come even up outside the gate of parliament. And they are, around to they are allowed to carry placards. Nobody is going to harass them, but allow also the police to provide the Gen Z with security, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Order, honorable members. I hear you, minority leader. I hear you, majority whip. I came to parliament very early at six, so probably the police had not taken their position. This house will operate without any fear or favor, intimidation, or any negative pressure. I want to encourage you to be all times assured that you are safe here. I will direct the clerk and the sergeant to check with the police and report to me in the course of the morning what is happening so that I can